How about we just give the Lord the first part of our week? We say, I'm circling five o'clock on Sundays. Don't schedule birthday parties at five o'clock on Sundays. And you tell your family, you don't understand. Five o'clock on Sundays, I am not available. You know I go to church because I'm giving the Lord the first part of my week. Now, understand we're not being dogmatic about it. And all of us miss church from time to time. But that should be the exception, not the... And how many of you know you should get up and go to church, especially when you don't feel like it? Ooh. Here's what you need to know to be true. It's not about you. See, you think, oh, I'll just kick, I'll just kick, I don't feel like going. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm whatever, I gotta, you know, gotta take care of this, that, and the other. My lizard has a broken leg, whatever. I mean, it's just like people, I've heard it all, okay? Listen, it's not just about you and what you feel like. Here's what I know. There is power in your presence being here. And you are an encouragement to somebody else. Do you ever think maybe it's not about just you? That by your, by bringing your presence to your church, that you're an encouragement to your pastor. You're an encouragement to the other leadership in the church. You're an encouragement to your brothers and sisters. And you don't know what the Lord may drop into your spirit, a word that he may give you, a prayer that he may give you. Please understand, I'm not railing on you saying if you, you know, you miss church, you're going to hell. What I'm saying is, is that this is the way we seek the kingdom first. We give the Lord the first part of our day. We give the Lord the first part of our week. Watch this. We give the, the Lord the first part of our income. So it's like, this is the first thing I do. I don't wait till after all the bills are paid and then I bring God my tithe. No, because I recognize this represents my blood, sweat, and tears. It's an exchange of my skills, my time, my talent, what I did, what I did with my life this week. And I'm bringing the first portion of it to you, Lord, as a reminder, I couldn't have done any of it without you. You wouldn't have breath in your lungs if it weren't for the Lord. It is recognition. Again, it's not something we do this dogmatic. I'm not going to, I love what Pastor Paul says, we give by faith, not by force. But it's just out of a heart, we say, God, I'm seeking you first. So I give you the first part of my day. I give you the first part of my week. I give you the first part of my income, understanding that life ultimately is all about the kingdom and it's not about a bunch of stuff. Give me a good amen out there.